and that's way too big. Set scale 1.25. There, Boone is now like ginormous, so let's call him set name. Ginormous Boone. There. Alright, so we got Ginormous Boone here. He's a little bit bigger than me. He's uh, quite a bit fatter than me. Actually, there. Now he's ginormous. He is bigger than a super mutant. Um, he has bullets the size of Canada and he is following me so we are all good down here quick save um, that's the lone what is he the lone wanderer or something lonesome drifter take your acoustic guitar and throw it throw it <clears throat> nice guitar bitch you like that huh like how I just threw your guitar. I want your hat. Hey, mighty fine guitar. Howdy there, partner. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here yeah, guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Looking for a story, huh? Um, what's your story? All right. What can I tell you? My story's a long one, friend, and right, I can't no. say as it's all that interesting. Anything else you'd like to know? Lone so long, drifter. friend. He's like the lone wanderer, except he's a drifter. And he's lonesome. I was a lone wanderer once. I looked a lot like this, except with, uh... With, with, uh... Not a beret and not leather armor. Um... So I absolutely look nothing like this um, at all. So, we are almost to the trading post. You may wonder, you know, hey, if you're, you know, skipping that one part, why are you uh, still going this way? Why don't you just go straight to New Vegas since you're already there? It's because I am a very difficult person, so I'm going to just do what I need to do, I think. Yes. Yes, that's what's going to happen. And we're going to talk to Veronica Zibich. Oh god, Veronica. No offense, yes. but you look like you've traveled a long Hell way down some bad great. roads. Where'd you come from? Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, uh, go ahead. can I ask you something on the level? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so, where are you headed, anyway? This is quite a journey you're going on, then. Must be an interesting relationship to have brought you all this way. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Yes. Maybe we could travel so together. Bad. Help each other out. The game is like lagging. Alright, yes. Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Aw, you really know how to make a girl feel like a stray cat. 
But okay, All right. my offer um, stands. I'm if we run into each other again. Mod that lets me uh, have more than one companion. So I will be right back. All right, so um, we just went and got the uh, mod that lets me. Couldn't have get enough of talking to me the first time, huh? So we're gonna talk to what's her face here. Good. I hoped you'd come around. Shall we? Yes, let's go. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? No. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Okay. Cool. Well. Thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Yeah, let's go. Alright, so we got Gino oh my god, ginormous boo, and you're huge. Alright, um Alright, so we got giant boon over here. We got mmm Veronica. And we got this ugly hey. Michelle looking lady looking up at Boone. Set scale one point one. All right. So now Boone's not too giant. He's just a little bit bigger. Actually, uh, one. And we're just gonna click Boone and set name Boone. There. All right. So Boone's back to Boone. Veronica's back to Veronica, and we're heading out. Is this ooh, what's in here? Nothing. Hey Sam, Samuel, Sam, Samuel, 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 Samuel. He's not gonna wake up. Flag is disgusting. Morning. All right, let's go this way. Um, so we're headed to Boulder City, which is over here. Got my Walther PPK, and it's not in a Walther PPK, but I'm gonna call it that. We got Miss Punchy McPuncherton, and we got Mr. Shooty McShooterton. So, we're gonna go this way, we're gonna go this way, and then when I get to New Vegas, I'm gonna get Arcade Ganon, and then I'm gonna do the King's Quest so I can get Rex, and then, and then, uh, oh, oh, I'm gonna go back and get Cass, and then, um, uh, uh, oh, E-D-E, -E, or Eddie, whatever you want to call him. I'm going to get him, too. And then, uh, is that everyone? No, no, i got to go to Jacobstown and then get Lily, too. And then she'll be like, bring me with. And I'll be like, okay. I still feel like I'm missing somebody. Cast Rex Arcade. Do, do, do. Hello, Boulder City. How are you today? Oh, God. Hi, Bram. Random Bram. Watch out. What happens when you take a Brahmin and let it loose in the city? Find out next week in Brahmin Stampede. <laughs> Alright. So that happened. That's disgusting. God, clean up your skeletons. Dirty assholes. Um, so, we're gonna go talk to Captain Underpants. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The brass at McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. Yeah, I know. What's going on? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. See. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. Mm. No deaths. But not all the squad got out. Okay. The cons have private Ackerman and private Gilbert as hostages. All right. They have something. In Once mind. the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome. To